Welcome back to my channel. This is Sandra from Retired and Seeing the World. Today I'm in Simi Valley, California, honoring the 40th President of the United States at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library. Come enjoy this video of California's history with me. In a storied career that spans more than five decades, Ronald Reagan inspired Americans to act and achieve even more than they imagined. His legacy thrives at the Reagan Library, where events and exhibits rediscover his values, actions, and spirit of determination. Administered by the National Archives and Records Administration, the Reagan Library, under the authority of the Presidential Records Act, is the repository of presidential records for President Reagan's administration. The Reagan Library houses over 80 million pages of gubernatorial, presidential, and personal papers and over 80,000 gifts and artifacts chronicling the lives of Ronald and Nancy Reagan. Among many permanent exhibitions, you will find Air Force One Pavilion and the Oval Office, just as he would have used it. There's currently a special exhibit exhibiting the relationship between President Reagan and the Pope, St. John Paul II. Enjoy this walk through Ronald Reagan's life and positive non-political comments are encouraged. Enjoy! congressional leaders over to hear a tape recording of a Soviet private locking on to the ill-fated Korean flight 007. It still chills my blood to think of those 269 innocent passengers. And it was here that I first learned of Nancy's impending cancer surgery. So you see, you don't just give speeches in the Oval Office. You also say prayers. Above all, you pray for peace. Mr. President, your meeting is starting. So, goodbye, and God bless you. I gotta get to work here. Oh, that was good.
dignity and the right to make our own decisions and determine our own destiny. And that happened in 1937 when he was offered a movie contract. So what you're looking at in this case are some of the movie posters from movies he was in. He's in a total of 52 movies. Do you recognize some of them? No. Oh, the, <laughs> the advertisement, which is quite ironic because he was never a cigarette. No. No nation in history has ever survived the tax burden that reached a third of its national income. Today, 37 cents out of every dollar earned in this country is the tax collector's share. And yet our government continues to spend $17 million a day more than the government takes in. We've raised our debt limit three times in the last 12 months. And now our national debt is one and a half times bigger than all the combined debts of all the nations of the world. We have $15 billion in gold in our team. 39 will now purchase 45 cents yeah. in its total value. That life is so dear and peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery. If nothing in life is worth dying for, when did this begin? Just in the face of this enemy? Or should Moses have told the children of Israel to live in slavery under the pharaohs? Should Christ have refused the cross? Should the patriots at Concord Bridge have thrown down their guns and refused to fire the shot heard round the world? The martyrs of history were not fools. And our honored dead who gave their lives to stop the advance of the Nazis didn't die in vain. Where then is the road to peace? Well, it's a simple answer after all. You and I have the courage to say to our enemies, there is a price we will not pay. There is a point beyond which they must not advance. education. 
in our state colleges and universities is not a right, it is a privilege. Despite escalating campus protests, he didn't back down on his ideas for fiscal reform. Governor Reagan wasted no time honoring the second part of his promise to voters, making California a better place to live. The San Onofre nuclear power plant in Southern California, every day it saves 16,000 barrels of oil. While in office, Governor Reagan created the California... Trigger warning, in this next quick clip, you will see and hear the moment that President Reagan nearly lost his life.
Let me take a moment here to salute a special person who has turned to fight against drug abuse into a national crusade. She mobilized the American people. I'm mighty proud of her.
control by tearing up previous treaties and signing new ones with power. From speaking in the Baltic, it would preempt with the Adriatic. I understand the man descending across the continent. Communism is the greatest hope for the century. It's perpetrated on the world to cover a man. issued its findings. I'm often accused of being an optimist, and it's true. I had to hunt pretty hard to find the good news in the board's report. It was like having two Westerners standing in a saloon aiming their guns at each other's heads permanently. There had to be a better way. The West won't contain communism. It'll transcend communism. President Reagan's first priority is to protect the United States from in addition to nuclear weapons. Tear down this wall. Nothing in the West symbolized the differences between it and the Soviet Union more than the wall. Its removal would be seen as a gesture symbolizing that the Soviet Union our momentous deed. The following spring. recently been told that I am one of the millions of Americans who will be afflicted with Alzheimer's disease. Upon learning this news, Nancy and I had to decide whether as private citizens we would keep this a private matter or whether we would make this news known in a public way. At the moment I feel just fine. I intend to live the remainder of the years God gives me on this earth doing the things I have always done. I will continue to share life's journey with my beloved Nancy and my family. I plan to enjoy the great outdoors and stay in touch with my friends and supporters. In closing, let me thank you, the American people, for giving me the great honor of allowing me to serve as your president. And the Lord 
calls me home, whenever that may be, I will leave with the greatest love for this country of ours and eternal optimism for its future. I now begin the journey that will lead me into the sunset of my life. I know that for America, there will always be a bright dawn ahead. Thank you, my friends. May God always bless you. The nation mourns the passing of a president tonight. Ronald Reagan, surrounded by his family, died at his home in California today after a long and difficult battle. President Reagan stood tall. Another step back. President Reagan stepped forward. And he did it all with great humility, with great charm, and with great humor. I now begin the journey that will lead me into the sunset of my life. You know, as you always said, that America's best days are ahead of us. But with Ronald Reagan's passing, some very fine days are behind us. And now, and that is worth our hit of that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video in honoring President Ronald Reagan at his beautiful presidential library. Hopefully you've given me a like and maybe even subscribe to my channel so you can follow along on my next videos on what I've been doing since I've been retired and seeing the world. And again, only positive and non-political comments are encouraged. All negativity will be deleted. Love and respect go a long way, and we all need to take care of each other and raise each other up. So, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!